See, the form A cos theta plus B sin theta is equal to C is a standard trigonometric equation. What is that we are yes, discussing sir. now? Whether it has a real solution or not? If it has a real solution, what should be the condition? If it has no real solution, what should be the condition? That's what we are discussing. Now, the basic thing what you have to understand, it is A cos theta plus B sin theta, if it can be expressed as a single trigonometric ratio, either sine or cos, either sine or cos, then you can discuss about this easily because you know that sine theta lies between minus 1 and plus 1. Inclusive minus of 1 and 1. Yes. Uh, inclusive sir. of both minus 1 plus 1. And even cos theta also like that. It also lies between minus 1 plus 1. Inclusive of both the values. So our task is we want to convert this as a single trigonometric ratio. For that purpose, how do you see this? Just to understand this. Let me say, let me say, this is a triangle for your understanding. I took a triangle and I took an angle here as alpha and uh, I'm taking this as A, this as B. Then thereby what happens, uh, you can see that uh, the hypotenuse obviously becomes uh, square root of uh, A square plus B square. Correct or not? Now, what is that I'm doing? I'm multiplying and dividing with root a square plus b square here. Thereby, what happens? Thereby, it becomes a by root over a square plus b square cos theta. Correct? Plus b by root over a square plus b square sine theta into root over a square plus b square. What is that? I'd like to tell you here why I have drawn this triangle here. You might be understanding why I have shown this here. Because I want to tell you clearly that dividing throughout with root a square plus b square means we are converting it into the trigonometric ratios because root a square plus b square is uh, the hypotenuse here. Now I can write this as sin alpha cos theta. Come on, tell me please. Sin alpha cos theta plus cos alpha sin theta is equal to into c c by over root over a square plus b square. Uh, you can take it like that also. I'm keeping it like that also. Not a problem. Then thereby yes. you can say that you can say that sin of alpha plus theta. Yeah, sin of alpha plus theta into root over a square plus b square is equal to c. c. Okay, now what is the range of sine function now? This is what you have to understand. What is the range of sine function? Minus 1 to? Minus 1 to 1. Minus 1 to 1. So, you must understand that if you write the minimum value minus 1 here, this c belongs to c belongs to multiply with minus minus mm. root over minus of root, root over a square plus b square multiply with plus one then root over a square plus b so your c must belong to minus root a square plus b square comma root a square plus b square or we can mention this in this way also or C should be less than or equal to root over A square plus B square 
then only this equation will have a solution otherwise no solution so mod c by root of mod c is less than or equal to root or a square plus b square is the condition to have the solution okay now now let us let us form the question on our own based on this and let us understand how to recognize that whether it has a solution or not at a glass at a glass you can form the question now this is you can form the question now like just see this beta example example okay now Three cos theta plus four sine theta. If I write, what is root or a square plus b square? You tell me. In this case, five. 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 Is equal to five. Is equal to five. Has a solution. Yes. And three cos theta plus four sine theta is less than five. Also, has a solution. Correct or not? Okay. Yes, sir. Three cos theta plus four sine theta. Is equal to, for example, if I say seven, no. Whether it will have solution or not, you tell me. If, if I write, it seven, won't have a solution, sir. Yeah. So greater than five has no solution. Understand this, please. So the standard result is. A cos theta plus b sine theta plus c. A cos theta plus b sine theta is equal to c. Has a solution only when mod c is less than or equal to root over a square plus b square. If c is greater than root or a square plus b square, it will not have any solution.